one, and this is Archive of 12. And I had a request to start covering more the longest solo ever songs. So we're going to do that today with their Amazing Digital Circus Episode 2 song, Tell Me What I Am. Now, I did cover the Rocket Music uh, Episode 2 song, and that one was only, it had vague references, very, very vague references, but primarily it was completely spoiler free. The only aspect of it was that that really mattered to episode two was the reference to them being in a candy coated wasteland, essentially. This one, however, I get the feeling is going to be a little bit more in depth. The spoilers based on the name and the fact that uh, the new character Gummy Goo is right here. So spoiler warning for episode two of the Amazing Digital Circus, Candy Carrier Chaos. So I strongly recommend you go watch that before watching this. Uh, if you have already watched it, then understand that the link for this video will be in the description below if you want to listen to it without my commentaries, because I will be pausing and I will be talking over it. And without further ado, let's get started. What I am. Down here at the bottom, underneath it all, big I've got a million faces, place in the world got smaller Thought I had it all figured out, now all of me are falling We don't matter in the slightest We're just some cold, there's parts of life, there's parts of vices Life is a lie, in the mouth, in the sky Don't get too comfortable, you don't mean nothing and you'll never know why I'm a construct, automaton, but all I want was a little purpose I'm nervous, I'm in the game, but I'm not a player I've been created to be obliterated And left in the dark, no play Okay this is obviously getting very existential very, very quickly. Um, I like the fact that they, that, that Longa Solo Ever has constructed this entire song around uh, Gummy Goo and Palmney's like conversation about what he is and exactly what he, what it means to be who he is. Everything about this song so far has been very, and no, this is only 44 seconds in. Everything about this song so far has been very structured towards that conversation. And I get the feeling that it's going to remain that way. Now, could there be a switch up? Absolutely. Could it be that we get to a point by the end of it that we're seeing Gummy Goo accepting who he is and accepting the fact that, oh, you know, maybe it's not so bad before he gets popped by Kane. Um, that, you know, he, he doesn't actually like really exist, but I get the distinct inf impression that that may not happen. Or if it does, it's going to be a very small section before it returns back to this very confused, melancholy and worried place that we're currently in right now about what it means to be alive. When I think about my mother, did she ever have a face? Don't know how I could recover, I'm falling, no brain This truck's going over the edge I've done all I can Just tell me what I am Please Also, the visuals for this almost remind me of, like, uh, an 80s or 90s VHS tape uh, it, With, like, it being slightly out of focus With it being, like, filtered Everything about this just feels, especially with the letters feels very 80s, 90s-ish, which if I remember what game theory or film theory, I forget, I think it was film theory. I remember what film theory said about the first episode, Matt Pat linked the first episode to being in the early 90s-ish. So that would make sense that this had a very 80s slash 90s vibe to it with the picture. Help me understand, am I a man or a command? A program, damn, to You're different The look on your face Telling me this isn't Breaking your brain oh, There's nothing left to break How long does it take To accept that Everything and everyone's fake I hate your face on the wall I can't seem to recall Seeing any of your friends at all You're not a plaything You're far away Bringing your trouble down here We were fine before you show Well now I don't know If I had existed If I didn't would I miss it Am I just a ghost Not to be a host Every characteristic Chosen to assist Damn, that 
that that particular section there what it oof, that that hit pretty freaking hard even more so than the first one it definitely expanded on like what gummy goo was ex was experiencing in this moment when he realized that he didn't matter when he wasn't alive like this that section right there specifically expanded so much of like the realization of what gummy goo was coming to and it 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 tickled me quite a bit that it felt like those could have easily been conversation topics that gummy goo could have brought up just in an australian accent um to pomni when they were discussing things so like it's now my head canon that he is singing this song <laughs> When the lights go off, will I feel it at all? Will I be erased just like I have so many times before? You say to come along, would it be so wrong to find a home in the forever? Building memories and more, I can be someone. My life has just begun, I finally know. I will never forgive Kane for taking Gummy Goo away from us. Tell me what I am. Please help me understand. Am I a man or a command? A program damn to their design. What happens when you leave? When your eyes are not on me. Do I go on if not perceived? I can't breathe. Please give me relief. Just tell me what I am. Yeah, I'm not going to forgive Kane for eliminating Gummy Goo and per and de like destroying one of the best characters they could have easily easily created for this. I am mad. I am very mad at that. Especially after hearing this song cuz this song just makes that hurt so much worse. The song was great. The song was absolutely fantastic. But the meaning behind the song sucked <laughs> but anyway that's going to be it for me thank you for joining me i am mark alpha 12 and i will see you in the next video